but I'm going to watch it because obviously I'm a bad bitch. You can't kill me. And well, hello everybody. Today I am back with part four of my horror DVD, you know, horror, mystery, the word I was looking for in my last video was suspense, that whole genre, sci-fi, anything in that falls under the umbrella of it might be a little scary, it might be a little weird, you know, might be a little out there. Uh, that is my collection and I'm sticking to it. But this is part four and all of this haul actually comes from today. The day that I'm filming this is May 28th and I had a huge haul from today. So I thought I would film this video so I can go ahead and start... So I can go ahead and start watching these and putting them away. So let's get right into the haul. The best out! First up, I went to my favorite store, one of my favorite stores in the whole world, called Dr. Disc, and they have a whole DVD room, which I frequent, and these two, uh, I wasn't really going to buy anything because nothing really stuck out to me, but this movie, Ouija, Ouija, you know, Origin of Evil, is one of the scarier movies that came out of the past, like, five years. Uh, Doris, the little girl in this movie, scares the shit out of me. Okay, her little face changes, and it's not a good. It's, it's not a good time. It's a great movie though. I also, if you guys watched my last horror DVD haul, you would have seen that I picked up a bunch of Quentin Tarantino movies, and this time I picked up From Dusk Till Dawn, and this is actually the collector's series. So there's two discs in here, as you can see. I am not only a huge fan of Quentin Tarantino, but I am a giant, gigantic fan of Juliette Lewis, so I'm very excited to actually see this for the first time. I've seen bits and pieces of the TV show, and I didn't really ever get into it, but maybe, you know, seeing this will get me into the TV show. So what really made me kind of frustrated was these were $5 a piece, and normally that's not bad until walking home, I discovered a thrift shop. Not a thrift shop, a pawn shop. And in this pawn shop were bins and walls of DVDs, all for a dollar fifty a piece. So you know I went in. And something super exciting about this is I actually got to finish off a couple of my series that I've been collecting. First and foremost is VHS. If you guys have seen my previous videos, I have VHS 2 and VHS Viral, but I think this is the best and scariest one. So I'm super excited to rewatch this. So as I was saying about finishing off like movie series, I got House of a Thousand Corpses, which is one of my other favorite movies. Marcel actually just watched it for the first time last week and he loved it. So I now have The Devil's Rejects, which is an amazing movie. Tootie fucking fruity, you know, just casually tootie fucking fruity. And Three from Hell is coming out this year, which will be the third installment. The, what is the movie, or, or what is the word that people say for, I, I almost said a thruple, but I think it's a threequel. Correct me if I'm wrong. So next is The Final Destination, which was the last installment in the Final Destination series, I believe. This one is a good one, wasn't one of my favorites, but had one of the most terrifying scenes. If you look at the back, it is the escalator when the guy, like their bodies get sucked into the escalator. That is a big no-no for me. I am terrified of escalators. I have no hand-eye coordination and I just, I don't know when to step. Next here is The Exorcism of Emily Rose. I've never actually seen this movie in full and I will be honest, it was because growing up I was I was too scared to watch it. So, like, The Exorcist is one of my favorite movies. I don't know why this scared me so much, but I'm going to watch it because obviously I'm a bad bitch. You can't kill me. I'm a bad bitch. You can't kill me. And nothing can scare me now. I say that as I probably will sleep with the lights on. I'm not fucking dead. She fucking dead. Next is a movie that I saw at a very young age, which kind of maybe made me a little sick in the mind, but Donnie Darko, I love Jake Gyllenhaal, I think he is a fantastic actor and to see where he, like, his roots came from and like where he started and to see where he is now is just incredible to see that transformation. Like, if you compare him from this to Southpaw, there is like no comparison in the person because he has just evolved into an amazing actor. I love this movie, I love the actors in this movie. I didn't actually realize Drew Barrymore was in this, so I'm very excited to rewatch this. Next, I'm sure, is a fan favorite among this whole audience, The Conjuring. 
This I saw in theaters when it first came out and it scared the shit out of me. I love, actually, let me tell you a little anecdote about this, okay? Uh, we used to live in an apartment building that was kind of haunted. It felt very like an evil, like, it just felt like when you were in there, like something was like weighing you down, like a very sad presence in there. And <laughs> before we moved out, Marcel actually sent an email to Ed and Lorraine Warren asking if they could help cleanse our apartment. I was like, what the hell do you think you're doing? Do you think I'm gonna respond to you because our apartment is haunted? No, thank you. I always rip into him for that. That is so funny to me. Next is something else that gives me another excuse to collect more in a series. I believe it's only one more. 28 days later, I do need 28 days. And last but not least, The Last Exorcism. This movie, I remember sitting in the theater being, you know, moderately scared, and then when it ended, I hated the ending, and I, I vividly remember standing up going, that's it? It just left me with a bad taste in my mouth, and the second one wasn't that much better than the first one, but, you know, I'm older now, maybe I can understand the themes and the topics in this movie a little bit better, and maybe, you know, re-watching it will make it a little more scary. That tends to happen. As I watched things as a child and growing up into like my teenage years, I don't think that I had the proper amount of experiences in my life to understand why things were scary and why things meant a certain thing. But now I'm an adult, I under I have a, my brain is fully formed and full of memories and experiences. So I'm able to relate to characters more, I'm able to relate to storylines more. So maybe going back and rewatching some of these movies, I will feel a different way about it. <sighs> so one thing I want to shout out is my DIY Rob Zombie shirt. You guys know I'm a huge Rob Zombie fan and I ordered this patch off of AliExpress. I ironed it onto this shirt, and now I have my own little piece of Rob Zombie merch that I DIY'd. So if you guys wanna see a video on how I DIY my own band merch, if you guys wanna see a video how I DIY artwork around the house, I just thought that might be a little idea to throw out for you guys. <laughs> I'm always looking to create content that you guys actually want to see. So leave me comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and do all the fun notification things, and I will see you guys in my next video. Holy crap, can you believe we're almost at part five? In this haul, we collected 10 more DVDs. So we're pushing in the 40s now, I think. My collection is about 40 DVDs. So that's a lot. Once again, thank you all for the love and support on my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Sayonara, suckers. Thank you.